guys and welcome back to my crazy ass channel it's currently almost one in the morning right now i just finished live streaming make sure you check me out over there if you haven't already and i figured why not make a youtube video mainly because my makeup's already done and i know i'm gonna be way too lazy to do it tomorrow so i might as well do it while i'm already made up because i used to do my makeup every single day and now i'm fucking lazy and i do it like twice a week Oh, <laughs> bear with me. But I was thinking to myself, I've been posting a lot of Sims lately. Kind of bored of a lot of other games that I play. So what should I make a video on? And then, <laughs> now I spend 99% of my day on my iPad. Like, ever since I got this shit, I'm a force to be reckoned with. My screen time is up 80%. Microtransactions are getting swiped every single day. So I figured today, let's return to bit life. I used to post this game, like, literally all the time i was so addicted and i haven't played it in so long i was like girl there's gotta be some updates by now there's gotta be something crazy so let's just go ahead and play it today before we start the gameplay today i'm partnering with g2a.com to check out their diversity and inclusion celebration with some of my favorite games if you didn't know g2a is a digital marketplace where you can buy all of your favorite games for a lower and more affordable price that means buy one get one at 15 percent off with the code diversity 15. You can enjoy some of your favorite inclusive titles such as The Sims 4 and Life is Strange for so much cheaper. This means less money spent and more time to play some amazing games this summer. There's even the newly released Diablo game that everyone's going crazy for. You can also get gift cards, surprise Steam keys, and so much more with this sale. I think inclusivity and diversity should be encouraged and celebrated in so many different games. Make sure you check out and support a lot of these titles. Make sure you check my page listed in the description to take advantage of this game-changing sale. If you love video games as much as I do, then this is the perfect opportunity to try out a bunch of new games or even replay some of your favorites. There is a game for everyone in this sale. So many unique and beautiful titles that you can celebrate and appreciate all in this digital marketplace. Enjoy the sale and treat yourself because you totally deserve it. Everything is linked down in the description. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start a completely new life for myself just because, girl, it's been a while. We need to start over. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my name Carmen Dumb Bitch. Cause like, girl, it's one in the morning and that's how I fucking feel. And I'm not from Calgary. I am from Toronto. We're gonna go ahead and put that down. Oh my God, and I can change my appearance because I actually um, paid for this app because, um, next question. So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself. I'm definitely in my brunette era right now. I like that I can customize myself however I wanna look. Damn, bitch, we see them. Oh my God. Okay, oh my God, I was born. I was born a female in Toronto, Canada. I was conceived when the fertility doctor showed my mother she hadn't been doing it right. Oh my, can the doctor show me? Cause I still think the G-spot is fake. Your mother has married your new stepfather, Dylan Cross, a 46 year old unemployed person. What? My mom is clearly not with the shits. Get a sugar daddy. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my God, I hate my stepfather. I can't even like harass him yet because I'm too young, but it's okay. Your mother is taking you to the doctor's office to be vaccinated. Bitch, obviously I'm gonna bite her. She just brought some stranger into my house that doesn't even have money. Bite that bitch. <gasps> oh my God. I don't even think she got that mad about it. She really doesn't care, but okay. So far, I hate my bet life, but... Wait, your mom wants to buy you a pet cat. Oh my God, I don't hate my mom anymore. I want him. Yay, I got a cat called Romeo. <gasps> oh my God, look how cute I look. I have like a little, like a little bit of hair. Evil stepfather, your stepfather pranked you by convincing you that you're invisible. I always fucking hated this man. What is his problem? I'm attacking him. I'm going to <gasps> headbutt his face. I'm gonna do it. No, I missed. Are you kidding me? Can I attack him again? No. <gasps> oh my God. I think I have to get like a little bit older to assault people, which is like really ruining my plans right now. You're at the park and have free reign to play as you choose, bitch. Can we just go home? I hate the outdoors. Let's play house. All right. Oh my God, I'm in school. I'm in school. Let's see all these little bitches that are in my class. Mrs. Walsh is my teacher. Oh my God, there's a bunch of blonde girls. <gasps> oh my gosh. And a lot of them don't like me. Like Celine Gauthier, bitch, 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 bitch. Let me insult her. 
You told your classmate that she's a wench. I think I can do a little bit better than that. Like, to be honest, I can be meaner. Insult. You called your classmate Jennifer an airhead. Bitch, I can literally do better. Come on. I gotta work on my insult skills. There's gotta be something. You told your classmate Marianne that you think she's skanky. Now I'm just slut shaming. I don't want to slut shame my classmates. I just want to call them a bitch and move on. Quick lip gloss break because my lips are like stained and they don't have any gloss on them. One size beauty, Patrick Star. 10 out of 10. Look at this, the gloss. Oh my God, it's so good. Back to terrorizing my class. What if I like insult my teacher? Would that be better? Do I have like better insults over there? You called your teacher, Mrs. Walsh, a sausage jockey? Did I just call her a dick rider? That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's a way better insult. <gasps> oh my God. Wait, the cool girls have invited you to go to the movies. Do they like me because I'm a bitch? Oh my God, let's go. I went with the cool girls at school to see little mimi oh my god does that mean that i should just keep being a bitch to everyone like insult an imbecile oh my god <gasps> oh this bitch tried to fight me no way can i attack her back there's no way oh my god i, I can't attack her oh my god i gave her a wet willy wow oh my god okay this is a lot for a seven-year-old, honestly. Each morning, your classmate, Louise, waits for you to get off the school bus and then takes your lunch money. What will you do? She's robbing me? Oh, hell fucking no. What should I do? I'm gonna roundhouse kick her face. Yeah, I'm going for the fucking face. And I really hope that this works. I hope I don't miss again. Oh, <gasps> you delivered a roundhouse kick to the bully's face. Then you pulled the hair out of her nostril. I'm a fucking menace. <gasps> Oh my God, you have been sent to the principal Mr. Harder's office for fighting. What will you do? I'm gonna insult him. Are you telling me you're just gonna watch every single day while this girl is stealing my hard earned lunch money? She's taking my lunch money every single day, stealing every part of it, and you're just not gonna do anything about it? No, insult him. Fuck you. He advised me to be on my best behavior. Ooh, I might get expelled, but that's okay. I'll just apologize to my mom because I need the lunch money. It's time to go to your first school dance. You are attracted to a boy in your class named Michael Pound. Ooh, I'm going to ask him to go with me. I'm sure he'll say yes. Like, why would he turn me down? <gasps> Wait, he actually said yes? Okay, I was actually like 100% expecting it to be like, Michael said, how the fuck no, bitch. You stayed home. I must say, I'm definitely going through my awkward middle school phase right now. What the hell is that fuck ass baying? I kind of hate it. But it's okay. We're 13 years old. Um, we're pretty popular in class, honestly. Did we ask a boy out? Oh my goodness. Let's ask out Chester. Let's see if he wants to go on a date with us. Oh my God, we have a boyfriend. We can compliment him. There's really not a lot of chemistry. We talk to him. I think he's gonna dump me. So like, I should probably dump him first, right? Like there's no chemistry. But let's see. <gasps> Romeo died. My first little bit like pet. That's sad, but it's okay. Oh, first my cat died and now my fucking boyfriend wants to break up with me. Girl, it's just a bad day. I'm sorry, but it's a bad day. You're getting roundhouse kicked, but he's lucky that I fucking missed. Oh, he hit my ovaries. Oh my God. Are you fucking kidding me this is the worst day of my life i'm gonna text him to insult him oh he didn't even write me back oh my god he didn't even write me back at all okay let me just you know date one of his best friends charles so we'll see if he ends up breaking up with us too because if charles decides to break up with us clearly it's a me problem but i'll never admit it so yeah chester's so fucking mad i'm gonna message him again and insult him Fuck you, Chester. I hate you. Oh, never mind. I hate myself. <laughs> See, don't bully guys. When you're a bitch, it all comes back to you. You are what you put out into the universe. Oh God, my driving test. Guys, I actually, I actually don't have a license in real life. <laughs> I don't know how to drive. <laughs> I actually don't know. Merging left lane. It's probably merging left lane. 
I I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say at this point. Hot girls can't drive. <laughs> My boyfriend hasn't broken up with me yet. That's pretty good. We just graduated from high school and I think it's time to actually go out and have some fun now. I don't want to apply to university. I don't want to look for a job. I want to get to fucking popping, bitch. I need to find a rich sugar daddy ASAP but I have zero dollars for my name. So I need to ask like all my friends and family for money. Oh, you didn't give me any money. What about my mom? $500. You guys know the drill. We got to go on the dating app and set that age all the fucking way up, bitch. And find any guy. Okay, he has a lot of money. We're going to date him. He's 87 years old and he is now the love of my fucking life. So I have to seduce him. I have to have his child and I have to get married to him. Ah! I'm pregnant. I need to do this to take all of his money. Okay. I refuse to get a job. I just don't want to. Okay. I think they like change it up in bit life. I actually have to buy him a ring or else he's not going to want to get married to me. Like, oh, can't believe it. I have to spend money to make money, but whatever. It's fine. We're going to go ahead and buy him any ring. What can I afford? A silver ring? Bitch, he better fucking like this because it was the last money that I had. Um, all right, we're going to propose to him with the silver ring and a rose garden. And I really, really hope that he says yes. <gasps> oh my God, he actually said yes. Okay, now the only bad part is I don't know if I'll have enough money for the wedding. $50. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm getting married on a budget. Slay. Hallelujah. Oh my God, my net worth is only $151, but his is 1.2 million. I'm gonna agree to sign the prenup. You know why? Because he's gonna die in like two years and that money is gonna be mine, bitch, because he's leaving me in the will. And I'm definitely gonna keep my last name as Mrs. Dumb Bitch because what can I say? Holy shit, I have a lot of stepchildren and step grandchildren. Oh my God. They're all older than me. <laughs> I'm going to ignore every single one of them. Can I go to the hair salon? Like, what is this hairdo that I have? Ew, and why am I so, like, mad? I'm so mad about life. Okay, that's way better. Ah! Oh, my God. And suddenly, just like that, life got a whole lot better. He died. Which means I just got $1.2 million richer. I'm <laughs> not going to plan his funeral. I'm just going to skip it. I got shit to do. So now I have $200,000 cash and I also have all the remainder of the money in his big property. So I might even hold on to that because it'll like, it'll probably be worth more money if I just hold on to it. My mom has diarrhea. Very nice. Oh my God. I just had twins. Oh, I had twin girls. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay. Let's do Marie and, uh, Feline, Amanda, Evangeline, Marie and Evangeline. Oh my God, they're dumb just like me. That's so cute. Oh, how adorable. Can I get rid of all these people? Like get the fuck out of my life. I don't want to be your stepmom. I literally don't want you at all. Now we repeat the process one more time. I'm just going to put the dating app like all the fucking way up again. And I'm going to do the exact same process. Like, I'm literally going to seduce him. Tell him he's one of a kind. Keep in mind, I am only 19 years old right now. Scamming my absolute heart out. Pregnant with his baby too. Oh my God. I'm going to buy him a little bit of a better ring. Let's just get, let's get an amethyst ring. Okay, $1,000. And I'm going to propose to him and hopefully he'll say yes. Because who would say no? Oh, what a musical in my life. <gasps> He's got to say yes. He's got to. No. Oh, my God. He keeps saying no to me. This is actually really bad because I'm already pregnant with his baby. And I think he's literally going to die next year. So if he dies, I literally get none of his money. And I'm going to have his baby for no reason. Maybe he doesn't want me to propose somewhere bougie. Maybe he's like low key and he wants something a little bit more like down to earth. Do it at a coffee shop. He rejected it a third time. Well, rest in peace, you guys. I don't think I'm marrying him. Oh, I had a little boy. Okay, I'm going to try to seduce him again, you guys. I really hope it'll work. Oh, God, I'm pregnant again. Okay, propose. He has to say yes. 
<gasps> oh my god he said yes he said yes he, maybe he just needed a year to really convince himself that i'm not a gold digger but jokes on him motherfucker hey day let's get married hopefully he dies in the next year mm. okay i had another baby oh no i forgot to change her name that's okay that's okay uh let's vaccinate all the babies oh my god he's not dead i could kill him i forgot there's a whole crime section should we have a little fun <laughs> No one would ever know. You know what? Just so that I don't get my hands dirty, let me hire a hitman and let me get my husband murdered. $15,000. <gasps> oh, he's dead. Mm. Easy, easy, easy. Skip the funeral. We don't have time. Now I'm 21. I have four kids, a bunch of stepkids and step grandchildren. I'm a fucking grandma at 21 years old. Yay. I think we need a vacation. I need to party. I'm going to the nightclub. I'm going to all of the clubs. Ooh, yes. Give it to me. <gasps> Looks like we have a little bit of an addiction, but I just want to keep partying. Mm, 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 mm. Someone at the bar started arguing with you because you took too long getting drinks. You talking shit to me in my fucking club. Bitch, I own this place. This is like when you're in the club and suddenly you really just want to say, I don't know why bitches can't just say excuse me. Let's argue at her. Oh, she stormed off. Oh, oh, she got mad. Okay, nice. Give me an exotic pet. What can I get? Rio. I don't want a fucking bird, but okay, I guess so. I wanted something cool, like a tiger, like a lion. Is there anything else? Oh my God, a coyote. Give it to me. Bitch, I'm bougie. Hell yeah. Also, let me get a quick dick appointment. You know, little one night stand. Don't need a condom because slay. Oh, I guess this is why you need condoms. All right, baby number five. Pregnancy hormones are just really getting to me. Let me just steal a fucking car, like officer. It was an accident. Okay. I'm gonna be so honest. I know nothing about cars and I don't know which one is the most like expensive one for this. I'm just gonna assume it's the Dodge Ram 3500 because normally the most expensive sports cars have numbers in them. I don't know why. It's literally like R2D2 motherfucker. So we're gonna pick that. A fashion designer saw you and called the cops before you could get it started. <gasps> Ooh, I'm going to jail. Uh, okay, I'm pregnant, so I probably can't run for it. Like, you know, the extra baby weight, I don't think I'll be able to run that fast. Insulting them will make it worse. I don't want to cooperate because that's lame. So maybe I can bribe them a little bit. They arrested me anyways, and they took my money? Oh my God, get me a good lawyer, please. Oh my God, I'm going to jail for three years of my life. Oh my God, my coyote died because no one fucking fed him. And my daughter's sick. Oh my God. And I had a baby. Wow. I'm out of jail though. Like, girl, life is so hard when you're an it girl. Let's go back to the club though. <laughs> Maybe I should find a nice little husband though. I personally think that, you know, men look the best when they're in their late 40s. I truly believe. Like, that's when <laughs> the kitty part. So let me find a nice 40 year old man that's very rich. Ugh, oh my God. He looks like a fucking clit. Okay. There we go. And let's do black hair. Okay. Oh my God. All right. I got my little boyfriend now. And he called me golden. Oh my God. He proposed to me. I don't really want to get married to him though. Cause like he's going to take my fucking money. You know what I mean? You know what? Maybe this is true love and I just have to trust him. <clears throat> he didn't want to sign the prenup. He's trying to take my fucking money. I have to kill him. Wait, I should have his baby first. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I should have his baby first, because you know. Thank yeah. you, I got pregnant. Y'all know me, I'm just obsessed with always having babies. So let's kill him. This time I will get my hands dirty. So let's, is he not on here? What the hell, I don't even see him on here. I'll just kill my ex for fun then, whatever. Ooh, oop. Am I killing my, not the best idea i'm going to jail again for murder why does this keep happening like i'm a good person i swear i just kill people when i get a little upset is that really so bad oh my god life uh, um no i do not accept this i do not want to go to jail for life there's so much more scamming and so much more shit that i need to cause on the other side i literally got sentenced to life in prison how do i get out no i actually have to get out like no 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 i cannot stay in here oh my god no it's these 
puzzles. They're so hard to do. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. Bitch, I'm watching an ad. I'm watching a fucking ad right now. I don't give a shit. I'm getting out of jail. <laughs> Bet life. I'm watching ads for you. Okay, we stole a guard uniform successfully. And now <laughs> I can reach the exit. I escaped prison. Oh my God. Okay. I think we need to flee the country though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I feel like, I feel like no matter what I do, I'm going to get arrested again. So we're going to have to emigrate. Oops. We're going to emigrate somewhere else. Okay. What sounds good? France? Bonjour. Non, je suis désolé. No, avec la blanche. I also cheated in French class. Request approval. Oh my God, I'm going to France. Wait, invasive species? Oh, is it my dumbass bird? Is it my stupid bird? I have to get rid of you. I'm just gonna release it to the wild. Have fun, bitch. France is gone. Okay, um, oh my God, we could go to the UK, babes. We could literally be a UK bad day. Like, what the fuck? I still have an invasive species. Oh, I just bought another fucking hairless cat. Never mind. Oh my God. Someone tried to return my cat after I got rid of it. You can keep it. Okay, 10th time's a charm. I want to go to the UK, babes. I literally want to go over there. I'm literally a UK bad day, babes. Like, in it. My fiance left me. Let me get some crumpets over here. I don't really know what you girls call some dick over in the uk but let me ride a little bit of crumpet oh my god this man looks very british <gasps> he gave me something dinner oh my god my dad died on oh slay okay wait what how did i die cancer of the kidney a beautiful lady carmen never wanted a job instead she could often be found going to fly a drone what? Friends say there was a time in her life when she had trouble keeping her pants on. Okay, well, oh my God. I literally didn't even know that I got sick or anything. I mean, I could go ahead and continue as one of my kids and see how her life goes a little different way. So let me know if you guys want a video on that because clearly I just died in BitLife. Honestly, I think BitLife is probably my favorite app game ever. I play it all the time, so if you guys want more videos, I would be more than happy to make some because it's really, really fun to play. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a sad ending to my virtual life and bit life. But all good things come to an end. But thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this video. I love you and I appreciate you and I hope you had a lot of fun today. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up in the comment section down below and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll talk to you in my next video. But I hope you have an amazing day and let me know what you do in bit life. Bye, thotties.